Hello, hello, hello. I am P. Sloan Joseph, and this is Techquity for Social and Emotional Learning. Let's get started. So I'm going to share two uh, tech tools with you today. However, um, I want to make sure that before we jump into anything about social and emotional learning and growth, that you are making sure first that your classroom and your school are safe environments. Students will not trust you um, and they won't trust you to um, grow or teach them in the areas of social and emotional learning if the physical environment is not safe. So start with the physical environment, go then into the social and emotional environment, and then that's going to set up an environment for academic success. So techquity is simply technology and equity combined together. I wish I made that up, but I didn't. I saw it on Twitter back in 2020. And so you're going to combine those tech tools and make sure that you're using them in equitable ways that are going to remove barriers and at the same time accelerate and amplify learning. So number one, so when we talk about self-awareness, self-management, social awareness, relationship building, and responsible decision-making, one of the ways that we can use technology or techquity is to bring about vision boards. And what makes this equitable is that outside of the pre-selected or the, the, the template that's here, and you'll get the QR code in the next slide, the students aren't using any words. They're just using pictures. So even if a student has a barrier, which is that they can't um, communicate with you through uh, writing, that barrier has been removed because they're only using images. And from there, that sparks conversation about what their goals are at school and at home. So then you can affirm those things when they do accomplish them, congratulations on being on the honor roll. Or if a student is getting off track, you can then hold them accountable. You said that you wanted to be on the honor roll, but you haven't turned in the last few assignments. What's getting in your way? How can I assist you? Um, you will also notice that on this uh, template, there's a space for accountability partners. I would suggest one adult and one peer. A peer because sometimes students listen more to their peers than they do to the adults. And also, you don't want the um, all of it to be on you. You need a community of care for your students. So you need to find an accountability partner, an adult that's not you, that can be a counselor, that can be a coach, that can be the lady in the cafeteria that they may know from the community. Someone else in the building that you can share this vision board with that can hold them accountable and help you in holding them accountable. And then you also want to have check-in dates so they know that this is not something that we simply do in August and that we're never going to do again. They know that they're going to be check-ins um, throughout the school year, and that's a place where they can add to the vision board or take away based on them maturing and changing their minds and developing as an individual about the goals that they want for school and home. And here's your template. The next one is read alouds. So some of our students, they don't like to read a physical book, but they will listen to a book. So you're removing that barrier because what you want to do is you want them to listen to stories that allow them to be socially aware, self-aware, build good relationships, um, help them with responsible decision making, all of those things that are on that castle wheel that I showed you in an earlier slide. So here are four different stories that I found on YouTube, and all of these stories are different, but they are allowing your students to learn about compassion and empathy. And you may have heard people talk about windows, mirrors, and sliding glass doors. These stories will allow your students to identify stories that are like theirs, those mirrors. Those windows are things that they're getting a glimpse into someone else's world, and you are that sliding glass door, giving them that opportunity to go back and forth between their world and someone else's world to build empathy and compassion that helps them to develop in that social and emotional learning. So I'd love to connect with you, give you more tools, present this information um, a little bit deeper, and a little bit longer. So contact me and I'd love to come to your school or your district. And in the meantime, I want you to have a safe, positive and productive school year.